We're on our free day. We're about to go to some nearby village. I don't even know the name. It'd be nice to have some movement and get to see more of this countryside and uh, just have a bit more sweet time with these amazing couples. So, feeling very relaxed. That's my alarm time <laughs> that I should wake up. So, today we decided to take a drive in the hills of Tuscany and we've arrived at a town called San Galgano and its claim to fame is an abbey it reminds me right away of uh, Glastonbury when I went to the abbey in Glastonbury so this is what it looks like so the town here uh, was like a, a little castle. It started off as a castle in the 12th century. They say the first time it was mentioned uh, in history was 11th, 1133. And from that point it uh, expanded and expanded and expanded. This is the area of Tuscany. And that's Tuscany with Florence right in the middle. So the castle I showed you was in Ciusdino, which is there. And we are in San Galgano, which is here. So here there's an abbey, we're here. So this is what the construction looked like in the early 13th century. So they say right now it's only like the south side of the abbey that remains. Flower is a flower from, um, it's made uh, with flower of life. Yeah. The abbey of San Galgano is in Gothic style and was built between 1218 and 1288 by the Cistercian, the Cistercian monks who came from Casamari. It's the first Gothic church built in Tuscany, not Italy, I said Italy, but it's Tuscany. It was built here because the Cistercian monks used to build their monasteries close to river, rivers. Here it's the uh, Merse, where woods, marshlands, and plains could be cultivated, and along important thoroughfares. <laughs> 